Hey guys, this is Comic You Know, and today I'm doing a review for Batman Creature of the Night, uh, book one slash issue one. Before I start talking about this issue, of course I want to give you guys an update. I do have Comic You Know episode 218, and that's show where I review all the comics I've read this week in one show. The exclusive comics are in the description below, and the episode will be posted there too. But let's start talking about Batman Creature of the Night, issue one. So, if you're familiar with the Secret Identity Superman book that came out over a decade ago, probably, I think even longer than that, uh, then this is the sequel series, but instead about Superman, it is about Batman. And I do like this cover, we get to see this kind of little uh, boy who looks like Bruce Wayne, obviously for a reason, and uh, we get to see uh, the bad guy in, in the back here. So uh, let's start talking about the artwork first. Um, the artwork definitely was the best part of this issue for me. Um, I love kind of the classic feel we get, especially in that opening page where we get to see Bruce reading a Batman book. And uh, I did like the narration in the beginning. I think it got us into the story. You understood what was going on, obviously, because of it and, and what type of world this is. But yeah, I love the colors uh, of this book. Let's uh, start talking about the story. So with this issue, uh, just like the Secret Identity uh, book, it's about this boy named Bruce, but he's not actually Bruce Wayne, but his story is very similar to Bruce Wayne, and he loves Batman. Uh, but, you know, his parents die, he has, you know, somebody in his life named Alfred, he goes to a psychiatrist that's named, um, you know, uh, Dr. Thompson. So a lot of similar attributes to Batman are in this story. So it's an interesting twist on the Batman mythos in a view of another character. Now, for me, I'm not a hardcore Secret Identity fan. You know, I've read it a long time ago, uh, but, you know, I wasn't a hardcore fan of it. And I think people who really like Secret Identity will love this. If you never read it or, you know, just not a big fan of it, I don't necessarily think this is a must-read. For me, again, I don't have that much of a fandom towards it, so I thought this was an okay read. I definitely respect everything it was doing, but there was a lot of boring parts for me, especially within the dialogue towards the middle and the end. So, overall, I'm going to give Batman Creature of the Night issue one three stars. I don't really know if it gave me personally enough of a hook to pick it up, but that doesn't mean this is a bad book. It's not a bad book, just personal preference. I couldn't get into this issue. But let me know in the comments below, what did you think? a Batman creature of the night. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also in the description below there are links for my comic book Like Father Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father Like Daughter. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.